Hello and welcome to this episode of Meet the Speaker with NGConf. Today we are going to be talking with and meeting Kate Sky. Kate, how you doing today? Hi, Joel. Doing great. How are you? Awesome. I, I'm super great. I'm feeling good. It's night. It's morning time here, so I'm excited, happy. Got all my energy ready to go. That's awesome. And I'm excited for NGConf too. So I'm really excited to be doing this, chatting with you letting people have an opportunity to find out a little bit more about who is Kate Sky. In my opinion, one of the big uh, up and coming people in the Angular community and the JavaScript community at large. So I'm really excited to, to be here and to talk to you about this. So this is going to be very question and answer format. I'm going to ask Kate some questions. Some of them are going to be uh, crazy hard. No, I'm, no, they're all they're all softball questions, but uh, it's gonna be fun to find out her answers. So I'm just going to launch right into it. All right, Kate, first question. How did you get into programming? I got into programming after I finished school, learning computer science, and I've been doing programmer programming pretty much my whole life. Wow. How old were you when you uh, graduated school? Uh, 22. 22. Cool. So uh, very traditional route, go through a university and go right into programming. Did you always know that you wanted to be a programmer? No, I just kind of follow the trend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got into it for the money. <laughs> Is that a bad answer? <laughs> nice. All right. So I was, in, uh, yeah, I was good in math. So it was, it was a yeah, kind of natural. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Awesome. All right. Well, let's talk about languages. What programming languages are you comfortable with? Um, well, I'm uh, mostly in TypeScript right now. Mm -hmm. I did learn C. I uh, did a couple of projects in uh, VBScript, <laughs> Visual Basic, um, JavaScript too, until I switched over to TypeScript. All right, all right. So you know a few technologies. What's the most useless technology that you have some familiarity with? Oh my gosh, I had a project that I was so passionate about. I was writing a software in uh, Silverlight. Oh yeah. <laughs> and I got like really good, like we finished up a project and then somebody hired me to do the same thing in another company. And as soon as I came in there, um, the owner of the company goes, so what about HTML5? And that was it. <laughs> it was the death of that technology and never worked with it again, but it was fun. I liked it. That's cool. That's Too bad cool. it's gone. All <laughs> right. Okay. So that's the most useless. What's your favorite technology that's no longer used? Um, let's see. I would probably go with jQuery, although it's probably used somewhere. Yeah, it, it definitely is still being used, but not yeah. it doesn't have the popularity that it did before for sure. It's right. It's yeah, that's kind of what got out. me started in uh, after VB script. I did some mm -hmm. VB script and then um uh, jQuery kind of got me excited about more possibilities. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Good answer. All right. Uh, next question. What is your favorite part about uh, Angular? So when I got into Angular, my favorite part about it was the TypeScript yeah. because I came from the C sharp, C sharp world and it just felt so intuitive having the classes, having the interfaces and inheritance was one of the big things that I already understood and I could do a dependency injection pretty easily in Angular. So, so it was um, just how it, the transition to front end technology mm -hmm. was seamless for me. That's the best part about it. Yeah. Outside of having a really great community, we all talk about community, but it's true. Community is, is what um, really helps you become a better software developer in Angular. Cool. Uh, how about what's what do you think is the hardest or most confusing or most difficult part of Angular? I'm afraid to say it, but testing. Testing. <laughs> <laughs> it is the hardest thing for me, but you know I have to pull through and just get it done. But it's, sometimes it's uh, it's a hassle. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Okay. Uh, let's talk about NGConf. Have you ever have you attended NGConf before? I have attended NGConf last year. I actually gave a small uh, five minute talk, but it was it was more about um, the podcast that we were talk that we were doing and uh, about mentoring and stuff because I do 
uh, like to mentor some uh, ladies that uh, are my relatives and stuff. So uh, I had that talk and it was um, it was fun because it, I was, you know, was welcomed at the NG Conf like as if I was doing a technical presentation, but I wasn't. But so it was still really fun. I've learned a lot too. So cool, cool. Well, uh, maybe you just gave the answer to this, but uh, the next question is, what's your favorite uh, NG Conf memory? <laughs> That was That's that it. was really great, yeah. Because uh, actually, I got a lot of uh, people, you know, giving me the kudos after the talk because uh, I was pretty open. Like I'm, I was uh, ready to help anyone who would reach out to me, and and uh, some people did. So that was great. All right. Uh, next question: What uh, is the least geeky thing about you? Least <laughs> geeky. I don't know. I'm, I think I'm a girly girl. I have uh, three daughters and, uh, you know, we'd love to uh, dress up and uh, wear makeup and stuff like that. So I guess <laughs> that's it. Just being a girly girl. Awesome. Okay. Now let's talk about your talk. What are you going to talk on at NGConf? Uh, so my talk is going to be about state management and NGRX in particular. And uh, this talk is going to be kind of like um, easygoing, um, parallels about uh, with me being a mom, I have five children, and just how the whole interaction with children and family dynamics goes into creating like the seamless uh, workflow in the home and how that translate into state management of the application. I'm just gonna have some examples, some funny analogies about it. So I think it will be a fun NGRX talk. Cool, cool. Um... What inspired you to give that talk? I started talking about clean code in general. And, and uh, I just really, when I, once I started working with NGRX, I just saw how powerful it is. And uh, because I understand it really well, I just think I have a lot to give and uh, just show different ways of how I understand. And maybe somebody who's new to it will take some um, you know, good pointers from me and, and learn. Awesome. Well, thanks again for your time uh, to come and meet with me today, and for all the time you're gonna that you have spent and will spend preparing your talk at NGConf. Really looking forward to it. Thank you so much, Joe. Okay. All right, everybody, tune in. Uh, look for more videos that we're gonna be producing on uh, the speakers from NGConf. And thanks for watching this one.